Hey guys, welcome back to another um, tutorial, uh, so for an update tutorial, so in this is all I'm going to be showing you guys how to use find and replace in um, Xcode, uh, actually wait, it's more of an iOS development tutorial, but yeah, uh, it's, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use find and replace in Xcode, and yeah, uh, find and replace, and there's like a whole menu for finds, and you can see, if I go into this, and then go to find you can see there's so much stuff so yeah I'm just gonna be focusing on it and most of it does the same stuff but I can I'll just show you guys what I mean so let me just write out some code here let's just create a uh, let variable and I'm gonna spell it wrong on purpose so I'm just gonna say uh, let variable i is equal to zero and I'm just gonna create another one let variable Hello string equals hello and uh, I don't know. Let's just say we had lot a lot of errors and things like that. Or we could do is um, if we had uh, let i is equal to zero while i is not equal to uh, this equals one. I'm just creating a sample project here for is not equal to list dot count i six to one and then what we could do is we could just print list i so this is my sample project and now let's say we want to change all of this to a so I think what I can do is if I go into find and uh, if I just go to um, find and replace, if I just type in i here, you can see it's got all of this. And if I do option uh, command and f, that should bring up the find and replace. Then if I click replace, uh, oh, replace i with a, uh, then you can see it will just replace everything with a. So. Uh, let me just fix all of this stuff. Okay, so basically, uh, this is my example, and we also have a spelling mistake of variable over here. So let's say I've been spelling variable wrong this whole time, and um, I just don't know what I'm doing. So like, why did I type let? That was the point. So let's say I was trying to find variables, but I didn't know what I was doing. So here, what I do is I just bring out the find and replace. So go and find and go on to find and replace I just type in variable there and I want to replace it with either var or let and then once I've done that I can just do this and uh, if you do replace so if you click replace it's going to replace it one at a time if you do all so let me just replace that uh, why the x going to be ok so Place if you do replace one at a time, then uh, this ends up. Uh, what is this? That ends up. so if I click all, this replaces both of them. But if you only click replace, it only replaces one at a time. And then here, so I'm just going to delete this. Here, all you'd have to do if you want to change this i to an a, what you would do is if I do i and then A you can see it's got 23 matches and you want to make sure it matches word not just um, not just contains because if you do contains then it will use any verb I mean any word with an I in it so it replace that, replace that, it will replace all of that so we will replace I with an A and then just click uh, all and you can see it's replaced all these I's with an A so yeah and there's a lot more stuff you can do, but it's mainly just the same stuff. Like, if I just, uh, well, if I just do um, anything, so if I just do this, go to the find menu and click find, all this does is, uh, let's just say I want to find the um, letter A in this. Then you can see it just highlights all of these. You want to select matching words, or you can do all of this, and then this just makes sure it's case sensitive so here uh, it still finds it but then if it was in a capital it wouldn't find it 
now you take this off and it'll still work so yeah we'll make sure you get that and there uh, yeah so to bring out the fan menu it's command and F and to bring out the fan and replace it's command option F that brings that out and you can just replace all of these if you click enter one at a time it replaces them one at a time so yeah thanks for watching and this was a bit longer than it should have been but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye